Good morning from Studio Drew. Gonna try and seal this puzzle. If you watched my last video, I was using my laptop and not my camera, not my smartphone with the tripod, so I couldn't get the angle down. Hi, Anita. Thanks for commenting on my post. I really should turn off my notifications when I video. Um, but then again, I wouldn't, I'd be a professional and not an amateur if I did that. Anyway, so the last video I used my laptop, not my smartphone, and tripod, so I didn't have the um, vantage, um, the camera angle, to seal the puzzle. And I've been playing around with um, Windows Movie Maker with the editing, and I think I might have actually figured some things out. So I just wanted to get this puzzle done before I get ready for work, try and take advantage of some of this natural light, which is blinding me. Um, right currently at this moment. I hope you're all having a great morning. Um, just to recap the last video, I was talking about some of the things that I do to ease my um, anxious, uh, overactive mind. And that's, as I say in lots of my videos, keeping these two things busy. Um, busy hands, peaceful mind. So puzzles are an amazing thing, amazing trick for that. That's what we mentioned in the last video. So I have uh, before me a Thomas Kincaid Disney print puzzle, 750 pieces. Um, Derek, my uh, roommate, and I put it together months ago, and it's been laying flat underneath my bed um, since. So I have what we're going to need. Are no oh. Oop, there we go. This is all you need. And a old credit card, an old ID, or this is a piece of cardboard that came inside a package, nice and firm and thick. Don't throw anything away. There's always a use for um, cardboard, uh, um, you can use tags on uh, clothing. Sometimes they're a nice firm tag. I save usually all of them because there's always going to be a need for a little piece of cardboard. So I'm going to put you on pause and change my uh, um, camera angle and just get this done. All right. So it looks like I got the tripod in a good spot. You can see the puzzle. This is, like I said before, it was um, beautiful, probably one of his newer prints, Dumbo. You see Dumbo flying here. His name on the trend, on, on the tent. Perfect timing because the new live action movie coming out. So you've got your puzzle saver from Mod Podge. You can get this at just about any craft store. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. I probably should have prepared and opened this container before I started. But that would have been smart. I have many Thomas Kincaid puzzles throughout my apartment, as I mentioned in the last video. I have uh, four 500 piece puzzles come in one box. Those are nice. They make a smaller print, get them matted and framed, take up um, some smaller wall space, still keeping with the Disney theme, still keeping with um, Thomas Kincaid. All right, so it's very, very simple. You just want to take your Mod Podge. You want to just kind of squeeze. Don't go too much too soon. Let's start with that. Take your little squeegee. If you can see where I'm at, I'm seeing a lot of, a lot of glare. It might just be from the screen, but you just want to squeegee the Mod Podge in between all of the cracks. 
Now, if you notice, there's paper underneath. That is very, very important. Don't try and mod podge it onto a flat table uh, without the paper. And if you plan on framing this, buy the frame first, take the dimensions of the puzzle in. If you want to mat it, you need to leave space around each um, edge for a mat. If you're not sure what you want to do, take it to a framing counter. Um, all the craft stores, Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, all have a uh, framing counter where they can help you do the measurements. Back and forth, nice and smooth. You can see where it is because um, the Mod Podge will be white around all of the edges of the puzzle. That shows you that you sufficiently have it um, sealed in. Anyway, so like the mats for all of my puzzles I had specially done at Michael's. I took in the puzzle and picked up a frame from um, um, also from Michael's off the off the shelf frame, the perfect size, and then I had them calculate the uh, size of the mat. So I placed an order, a couple days later I came back, picked up my mat. Now, I'm pretty sure they didn't offer this then, but now Michaels will actually, you take them the frame, your artwork, it's, I think it's called an express service. They will cut the mat, install the artwork into the frame and seal it for you. That is considerably less expensive than having them build the frame for you. Um, so I have done that with smaller pieces of art. I wouldn't quote me on that because, like I said, it was just a small piece of art. I'm not sure if they do this on larger pieces. Um, I'm pretty sure they do because I did take a 1,000 piece puzzle in, now that I think about it and had them uh, give me an estimate on an express framing service. Now, you want to obviously seal this on an ex extremely flat surface because you want it to dry flat. But anyway, back to the framing. Sorry, I, I just kind of rambled on. If you pick out the frame before you seal the puzzle, take the frame apart as far as the, um, take the backing, and you know how um, if you've ever purchased a frame and then put your own artwork in there, there is a sheet of paper, sort of a liner, um, and a thin piece of cardboard usually. You can seal the puzzle directly on that sheet of paper because it's the same measurement of the frame. You just want to line it up nice and center on that piece of paper where it is going to be in the frame. That is an easy way to know that you're going to exactly have the puzzle where you need it. If you do not want to frame it and you just want to put it, you just want to save it and stick it somewhere um, in a child's room maybe and just kind of a, I don't, I don't know, a man cave, whatever, but you're not picky about how it looks, you can get foam core board. and glue it directly to the back of the, oh, this is a very loose puzzle, which is another reason why I need to get it framed because it's not gonna stay together on its own much longer. The reason why I laid it flat underneath my bed is because it cannot be moved. So, um, yeah, but you could use foam core board and just seal it right directly on top of the foam core board and then cut whatever shape of the foam core board you want and then you can take whatever um, whatever fastener or, or hook you want to put on the back, you could just hot glue it and then hang it directly on the wall. That's what I did with this puzzle. I didn't want to frame it and mat it. It's a child's puzzle. It's not anything utterly fantastic, but it was cute. So I cut out circle of the foam core board, sealed the puzzle to the foam core, and then 
I took a hook from the framing department, glued it directly to the board, and now I just hang it right up like that. And of course, I probably won't be able to get it back up. So we'll just set it here so I can remember to do that later. But back to sealing the puzzle. You want to do two or three layers of this just to make sure you get all the nooks and crannies. Give it a, a, an hour or so to dry in between layers. It doesn't really take that long, but because um, as you can you can tell, as the the white um, starts to turn back to clear, that gives you a pretty good indication that it's starting to dry. Now the puzzle saver on Mod Podge is a glossier finish than if you just used a regular Mod Podge. And I'm not sure that there's any real significant difference between regular Mod Podge and Puzzle Saver. I do not have a frame set out for this one. This is why I'm using a roll of craft paper to seal it on. But I'm probably going to use the same uh, style and brand frame as all the other artwork. I just currently don't have any wall space. Um, in the apartment. So uh, what I've discussed with my roommate is since we are both men, maybe we can replace Sleeping Beauty or Cinderella with, um, I don't know, Dumbo? Be a little bit less, uh, less girly but still as much um, Disney. Just keep working. Now, because this is cardboard, it will eventually get a little um, soft because of the, the moisture of the glue. And you wanna make sure too, when you're sealing it, if there's any like loose ends sticking up, you wanna put a, enough pressure on those ends to make sure that they glue down flat. When you frame it, you don't want to see You don't want it to be obvious that it's a puzzle until you write up on it. I think that's that's the illusion that you're creating. You're saving a little little bit or a lot of money by not buying an actual um, Thomas Kincaid print, which are absolutely stunning. Um, you've got the fun and, and enjoyment of actually seeing a pile of pieces turn into a work of art. And you actually didn't have to think about the world outside you while you're doing it. Which is the number one reason why I found doing puzzles is enjoyable. Because as I mentioned in the, um, the last video, when I read and I'm really into a book, it takes me out of, out of this reality. Out of the, rea the reality that has stress distress, um, high emotions, whatever that um, is plaguing your mind, you don't have to worry about that. I'm not saying that it's a, to avoid your problems or I'm just saying that, you know, as an overthinker, there's just too much going on in my mind. So this is a vacation from my own mind. Just, of course, it's not, you know, spending the day on a beautiful beach or uh, vacationing in Hawaii, which is, would be absolutely lovely if I could take the time and afford to do that. Okay, so here we go. We have the first layer. I keep going back over it, um, just so that there's no glumps, lumps, or seams with the glue. Like right there was a nice big glob of glue. And this is going to be underneath glass, so you want to make sure that there isn't any obvious um, flaws. But there you have it. We want to do this a couple more times just to make sure that it's nice and firm. And then when it's completely dry, I can decide whether I'm going to pop it into a frame that's already 
um, on the wall. Just, I hope that I'm recording because <laughs> it'd be funny if I wasn't. Um, actually, no, it wouldn't be funny. I'd be crying. Um, I'd, I just have to decide after I get this which frame I'm going to put it in or if I'm going to buy a new frame. So stay tuned for a cute little montage of some of the other puzzles that I've put together. You know, just imagine um, how much opportunity I've given myself to just relax, unwind, and not to let the outside world just uh, bother me, get to me, bring me down. So this is Studio Drew saying, get yourself a puzzle, take the time out of your day to just relax, enjoy yourselves. And um, when you're done, seal it and put it up on the wall and you walk past it and you can grin and say, that was a good day because nothing bothered me that day. All right, stay tuned for the montage. You see some of my other puzzles playing with my video editor. Let me know how I'm doing. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, um, subscribe because there's lots more to come on both crafting ideas and how to deal with uh, how to deal with your troubles.